Hi, my name is Eric Olson, uh, Executive Director of HELPS Nonprofit Law Firm. Uh, this video is going to explain the difference between a collector and a creditor as it applies to the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. The Fair Debt Pro Collection Practices Act is a federal law that governs the procedures and the rules by which collection agencies uh, must uh, follow when they're collecting consumer debt. Okay, So the first thing to remember is that uh, the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act um, involves consumer debt credit cards, medical debt, you know, personal loans, does not involve a business debt. That's separate, not governed under the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. So when a person is represented by an attorney uh, for a consumer debt, um, a collector may no longer contact that person by mail or phone. Uh, but it's important to remember that there's a difference between, a cons between a, uh, an original creditor and a, a collector. So, for example, uh, some people that are part of HELPS, they're current on all their bills when they contact us and they give us their credit cards they owe money to. And um, it, It's perfectly okay for a cre original creditor to continue to send a bill, and often they do that. That's why when we enroll people in HELPS, we notify them that if they don't want to get the bill, they should do a change of address on the bill to have it go to their name, Care of HELPS, with our address. That way they don't need to see the bill. If they get it electronically, they can delete it. Um, it's very unusual for an original creditor after they get a letter from us, cease and desist letter, to, to uh, continue to try to call someone about a collection of debt. If they were to do that, you just refer them to us, they'll get the message, they'll stop doing it. Um, about the only exception um, is, you know, payday, certain payday loans will sometimes bend the law trying to collect from people. Uh, maybe a local loan company um, will will bend the law trying to collect from people. Um, you know, if they're their original creditor, okay, they legally can still give you a notice and still send you um, a bill. And uh, occasionally they can still call you. Um, usually when they know that you're represented by an attorney, even if they're original creditor, they're gonna stop doing that. So if you have any questions, give us a call, uh, toll free 855-435-7787.